celebrities and you guys don't know what the law is, you guys pretend that you're taking, you know, each agent of the that is working that is receiving a paycheck thinks they are taking care of us, but they're actually robbing us of our liberties um, through a higher command and a higher power above them. And they're all brainwashed into thinking. And so so what they did is they, they used the media, which is controlled by Wall Street, to, to make the people think that there's a threat. And they use these people and they help these people bomb our you know, our buildings to take our liberties. I mean, I think you really need to research, you know, what's going on because you need to research the Federal Reserve because they're the ones that, you know, are tied to the UN, they're tied to all the banks, central banks that are causing all these wars and using you guys to do their bidding. They're expending your life for their interest at our expense. We pay for it. How absurd is that? You, I mean, I know you guys think you're trying to take care of us, but you can't take care of us. Government is, was never designed to take care of the nation, of the people. It's there to secure the rights and the liberties of the people, which, is, which they are being robbed from us. We're so, a bank. So how, how, how should the government secure the rights of the people? Well, first of all, you go back to a gold standard and you live within the bounds. That's the first thing because this fiat currency has funded your way of thinking and, and it has funded agencies like the CIA to cover up the fact that somebody was going to uh, fly planes into the building so they could take our liberties. The CIA knew about it. And this lady, she was trying. She was a representative, a, a mediator between the big guys and and Saddam Hussein. And Saddam Hussein was like, and and his leaders were like, okay, well, what do you want us to do? You know what? I mean, she didn't see any resistance from from uh, Iraq at all. I mean, study her. I mean, she she's really. Uh, it's really enlightening. And our forefathers predicted it. History predicts it. If you study history, you see that, that this is what happens. This is a natural course that we're going through right now. Alex Jones, I mean, if you watch his show, he, he uncovers what's going on in America and the government controlled by international bankers. We are under their control. And, and the people who don't know and the ignorant people, the ones who don't understand, who simply want to earn a paycheck and feed their family, that's the drunkenness that George Washington was talking about. Because they want a paycheck, so this clouds their mind with what the law is. It's, they can't see clearly. They don't know the Constitution. They don't know why our country broke away from England. They're simply there to follow orders. And then that guy follows orders, that guy follows orders, and there it's all the orders of the Federal Reserve. They're the ones that really control this country. So if we were to go back to a gold standard, then this this problem would not exist. So once we clear up the money the, problem. Who would manage the gold standard then or the currency? Huh? Who would manage the currency then if it was well, the state is the one that regulates, you know, um, coin money on nothing but gold and silver. That ain't happening now. Yeah, but isn't that the responsibility of the Fed, of the uh, Federal Reserve? The Federal Reserve, well, the Federal Reserve is a private bank, and even if you read Deuteronomy 28, I don't know if you're a God-fearing man, but uh, Deuteronomy 28, 43 says that whenever a nation doesn't listen to God, the stranger that is in their midst will rise high above them. He will lend to them, and you will, he will lend to you, you will not lend to him. He will be the head, and you will be the tail, and this is one of the curses that will pursue you until you are destroyed. And this fiat currency um, is what God says is what Israel did. They did the same thing. And then God says that your days are drawn near. Your days are coming to an end. Um, the end of America is coming really soon. And there's, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you can, 
you know, the Bible says, though Babylon uh, build her fortress to the, to the clouds, I will still take her down. This whole entire country is run off of fiat currency. It's out of bounds. When you run out of gold, you simply wait till you have more gold, and then you can spend more gold. But these liberals and all these people who want to fund all their programs to take care of us and to keep us safe can't get enough money, so they start borrowing from a private entity, which is the Federal Reserve Bank. And they are, they are owned and operated by foreign interests. And well, Rockefeller, he's, I think he was from the United States and, and they made, the Rothschilds made him rich through Standard Oil and, and you know, that's what Smedley Butler was talking about. He did a lot of things for Wall Street and the bankers and Standard Oil and National City Bank boys, you know. So Rockefeller uh, got really rich you know, with uh, Rothschild's fake fiat currency in the oil business. And Cecil Rhodes and Diamonds in Africa, the Harrimans and Railroad. I mean, this fiat currency, this fake money system, you know, is, is a disease and it's cancer. And, and it, is, it has uh, created an atmosphere for the very thinking that our government has today, thinking that they're taking care of us, and they're not. They're taking our liberties. They're taking our freedoms. There's not enough money in the economy. That's the number one thing that America has to have, and that is the freedom to be able to make a living and to support themselves. But now there's not enough money. The Federal Reserve controls the issuance of our currency, and the people end up homeless, and the government is there to... I asked uh, the police department, I said, can I sleep in the street, sir? And he said, no, it's, it's not safe. And I'm like, okay, well, where do you suggest I go then? He said, well, you gotta go to the homeless shelters. You know, half these homeless shelters are like prison camps. There's, it's, they smell like pee. You know, the people there are rude. You know, it's like a prison camp. Who wants to stay in a prison camp? I wanna support myself. I want to be self-sufficient. That's my God-given right. And this government says I can't sleep in the street because they're keeping me safe. Bullshit. I'm sorry for my for my language, but that is nonsense. They made me homeless. Therefore, I have a right to not hide out like a fugitive. And that's what this government is forcing the homeless to do to hide out like they're fugitives when it is no fault of their own because we've allowed a private bank to issue our currency and now our children are waking up homeless. Does that make sense, Bob? Yeah, yeah. All right. Do you, do you have a job now, Mr. Russell? No, sir. You know, do you know what a job is? I think I do, yeah. I mean, have you ever heard of the Black's Law Dictionary, Black's Law? Yeah, it's it's a deceptive language where corporations are persons. I mean, it's deceptive and it's it's designed to trick. Um, you know, and the Bible even says so. It says, "By her sorceries were the nations deceived." You know, did you know there's no law that says you have to have a birth certificate? I did not know that. Yeah. It says a certificate of birth for every live birth which occurs in this state must be filed with the state registrar. And I talked with Ron at Vile Statistics in Denver and I said, hey Ron, do you have to fill out the birth certificate? And he repeated the law because it's witchcraft. And I said, and I asked him three times and then I decided, you know, I'm not getting anywhere so I gotta reword my question. I said, Ron, would I be lying if I said you don't have to fill out the birth certificate? And he said, Dwayne, you're right. He said, there's no law that says you have to fill out a birth certificate, but your child won't be able to go to school. And I'm like, whoopee do. You know, our school hasn't been teaching us how anything works. They're controlled by the Wall Street bankers. You know, why, why would I want my kid to be indoctrinated by, by a system that is taking advantage of our ignorance? And, and it's witchcraft. 
That's what it is. People think they have to have a birth certificate. They think they have to have a social security card. I, I emailed social security and I said, yeah, do you have to have a social security card to work? A social security number. And he said, and they wrote back and they said, for the purposes of the federal income tax, you have to have a social security number. Didn't say you had to pay it. And there's no law on this earth that says you have to pay federal income tax unless you are a corporation. And we are corporations when we sign our to the social security card, the birth certificate, and all these documents. We are a corporation. We become a corporation. We give up our rights and we trade them for privileges. And this we enter into bankruptcy where we have to pay the federal income tax to give this fiat currency value. And it was this document, the birth certificate, that is a bond. That means that, that when we sign to it, we are bondmen. We give up our sovereignty that our forefathers gave us. John Jay in 1793 said, at the revolution, sovereignty devolved on the people and they are the true sovereigns of the country. Now, where did that change? Government is under the impression that they're the, that they're the king. According to the 14th, 14th Amendment, they are the king because it says anyone born or naturalized or under the jurisdiction thereof. If you have a certificate of birth, a birth certificate, you are naturalized into the corporation, into this land of paper, the land of images. You give up your sovereignty, you give up your rights, and you trade them for privileges. Privileges offered by a corporation, by a security guard, by a nanny, by a caretaker. We hire a caretaker to take care of us because this country are little children that cannot take care of themselves. When I ended up homeless, I did not borrow one dime from one man. I did not ask anybody but the Lord God to give me my needs. And that is why the Lord gave me this wisdom because I chose to live within the confines of God's laws because the borrower is a slave to the lender. I did not want to be anybody's slave but the slave of the Lord God. And that's why God gave me this wisdom and understanding of how this whole system works and why this country is in the shape it's in today. Bob, I'm going to declare to you that you are operating in a lawless government that is out of bounds using fiat currency. Okay. And I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not attacking you. I'm just stating a fact. That is the Lord speaking right there. Okay. We're out of bounds, Bob. And it concerns me when, when men want to figure out the truth and they get detained. That, that concerns me very much. And I don't okay. think the American people, uh, the ones who really see what's going on, are going to just let people walk over them. And our, our Constitution says that um, governments derive their just powers by the consent of the governed. If we are no longer consenting, then you don't have just powers. So that's the law right there. And our forefathers understood that. They said, uh, we, we have given to us by our creator unalienable rights. And it's so funny that Obama would leave out um, um, endowed by our creator. He left those words out when he spoke the, the declaration. Isn't that amazing? And I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Um, sir, I'm telling you, our country's in trouble. And the people are waking up. And that's Revelations 18, 1 and 2. This whole fiat currency are the idols of Babylon. It's the fiat currency of the bankers. And I'm going to tell you right now, this, this entire system is going down. The fiat currency is going to dry up and, 
And then what? The problem lies in our money system. The root of all evil is the love of money. And when they can't get enough gold, they have to borrow fake money from the Federal Reserve. And that is the problem with our country. The borrower is a slave to the lender. They, they chose to be a slave to a group of men rather than being a slave to the Lord God of the heavens and the earth that can only meet our needs. Any, any other way of looking for our needs is fraud. It's a lie because God can, is the only one that can be our provider. And if you want to get down to the root, that is the root cause. Is that America, this nation no longer trusts God, but they trust in government propped up by a fiat currency money system that is created out of nothing at the expense of our children. And God says, just read Ezekiel 22.6. It says your days are coming to a close. I think it's 22, 4, or 5. You know, with their idols, you committed adultery. We're committing adultery with this fiat currency. And all the people in power, Pelosi, Reed. I mean, how idiotic can a statement like this be? We need to pass the bill to see what's in it. Only idiots are going to go for that one. That's idiot. That's, that's brainless right there. And our forefathers even said that that, that was, <laughs> that's a bad sign when people are passing bills and they don't know what the heck they're reading. I'm telling you, this, co this country's in trouble, Bob. Okay. All right. Well, um, I appreciate your time, Bob, and, and I know I did a lot of preaching. I appreciate you, you know, listening, but okay. let's you just listen. You know, let, if you have any other questions, you've got the number, so you just give me a call. All right, well, I... will yeah, see what I can do to, have to answer them for you. Okay, I appreciate your transparency there, Bob. Okay, you take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.